Hello everyone, today is Sunday, June 21st. Uh, I wanted to make this video on some before and after shots of when I first got the boat. So what we'll be seeing is just a lot of shots of when I first got it. I didn't get a lot of video back then, but I plan on it now. So these are before shots. And we'll get you, it'll get you all caught up to date of what's going on with the boat. So my first idea is me starting to strip it out. That was the bathroom right there. V-birth. This is some of the, a lot of the stuff I took out. I took out piles for days out of that thing. And now we're starting to get a little more stripped down. I decided to take the motor out for the pros and cons. There's a lot more cons than there is pros. Something that was built in 78 is liable to leave you stranded somewhere. These are some of the products I got. This part I changed the... I wanted a quarter berth so I cut out the starboard side and made my own quarter berth. So it looks like at the back of the boat. These are a lot of my tools I'm using. Most of them I'll walk into wall. This is what the interior is going to look like in the future. Here I bought a three piece of three quarter inch wood from Home Depot. Birch. Nice piece of wood. $50 at Depot. I use that for my quarter berth on the side over there. Here I'm getting ready to pull the motor out with a couple come along, some cables and chains and two big trees piece of 4x4 four four. getting ready to lift it up to the deck and there it is right there and I rolled it on some wheels and a piece of wood to the very back those rollers right there here's where it's tied to the trees on the cable it's pretty maxed out. It took quite a while to get it high enough to get up over the boat. I actually had to lift it over a little bit. See, there's a tree in the background, and the, it just happened to work out. Did that all by myself. I don't get much help, or well, any help. So I find ways. Here's my new table. And this is also done out of a different piece of three quarter birch. And that back piece is actually a half inch. And that will be on the right side, will be all my electronics will be mounted when I get to it. Here's me redoing the floor so it's flush. And a nice storm that happened to be out. And that's my garden as of today. And the last part here will be me and fast forward doing a little bit of work on the floor. The grace putty was Alex Seal. Um, fairing compound. This one I'm using here is going to turn out green. It's blue and yellow from Total Boat. I think. I forget who sells it. Jamestown, I think, sells it. $109 on Amazon for a gallon, half a gallon each. And here's me laying it down after I got it all mixed up. I'm getting it nice and level using a 2 inch and a 4 inch putty knife. I like the metal ones versus the plastic ones. They seem to get it smoother and don't have little notches in it. And I learned how to do uh, body work when I was uh, in high school. I took an auto body class. So the uh, same as working on cars with Bondo. This filler is basically the same thing. Just a better type of filler. And that's about it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one, which I'll probably have most of this area painted, hopefully, and the appliances installed. So it should look a lot different. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get some more work done on it and see how far I get. It's pretty hot out here in Edgewood, New Mexico. Today it was 95, but next week it's supposed to drop down and get a little rainy, so... I'll get more work done when it's not so hot. 
Luckily, I parked it under the trees where it's a lot cooler throughout the summer, but still hot. So that's about it. See you next time.